All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone episode seventeen. Uh, quick question: How's my uh, how's my camera look? Because uh, I got some new lighting and I'm pretty happy with it. Because uh, the camera's not it's not amazing, but it's not horrible. It's just the lighting has never been that great in my room. Um, so it hasn't really been able to use it to its like full advantage. Uh, but I think this is okay. It's not too dim, not too bright. Um, I put some new posters up in my room as well. Well, they're not new. They're like quite old. It's just uh, I forgot I had them. Uh, the straw hat flag, obviously. Fucking awesome. But yeah, uh, last episode, uh, we've had the revelation about Senku's dad. So uh, let's get right into it because this is going to be a great episode. I say that every week because they all are, but this is going to be a great episode. So let's get into it. Oh shit. The sound's nice. It's like, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> you drinking an energy drink, you're a scientist, you know better. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. That's smart. The fact that he was thinking that, which is super smart, but Senku, not freaking out about what the fuck just happened, was also thinking that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is smart. I would not be able to think of that. So if it was like, if it blew up in America, the American tweets would be the first to stop. That's amazing. Oh my god. I'm not sure if that's something they touched on in the manga. That segment right there. Maybe, I can't remember. But I don't feel like they did. But that was very cool. That is very interesting. What do you think is this? Ah, hold on. It's too bright. It's too bright. I think this looks good. Well, there's like other settings with like warmer function. This looks pretty natural. But I kind of want, I kind of like the, not that one, that one. I like that one. Yeah, I think I like, I think this looks good. A hundred nights and a thousand skies. Interesting title. Oh my god. I know what's going on. I know why they didn't speak about it in the manga. This this scene right here does not happen in the manga. But it happens in a special that started today. This is spoilers, by the way. For anybody who hasn't started the new um, side story manga that Bocci just brought out. From the Bocci, the author, and Bocci. This, um, this scene happens... This segment happens in that ma in the side off side spin off manga. I just read this today. That's pretty fucking awesome. 
Oh, wow. That's why they brought that out. That's interesting. So it gives some old backstory to Senku's dad's story in the anime. Awesome. So they all fell down. Oh, that's sick, man. I was like, I don't remember that in the manga, but yeah. Since that happened in the spin-off, that's amazing. Yeah. Fuck. So, wait, they didn't all come down from the space station? What? Uh, they'll probably come down in two groups, surely. How long does it take to get back to Earth from a space station? Like a couple hours, maybe? Yeah, because he's a great swimmer. I'll oh, see the waves are calm down now, so maybe he can flip the pod. Oh, the blood's probably rushing to his head. Oh my god. Boy. Guaranteed he has gone like miles. Like he doesn't give a fuck. Oh. They lasted 10 hours. Fair play. This is awesome, man. It's something I haven't seen before. It's great. So they had two shuttles, shuttle pods to get back to Earth. One like a backup. Oh, really? I doubt it. Statue, bro. Old dude. They bring supplies for them from the ship. The the space station. You okay, girl? They're not dead, but you don't know that. So yeah, I understand. Really? I think of everything when they're training astronauts.
It really does make sense for them to be doing this in the anime. Because people would have probably probably have more questions. Oh my god, look, three years later, no way. Oh. <laughs> oh. You have to enjoy life no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> literally what I just said. Oh, she's such a good person. Understandable. Damn, yeah. 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 Beast. Senka's never going to get to meet this woman. <laughs> I'm so sad. Yes. Literally. <laughs> so many generations have gone by. We get to see like I mean that's not the whole the whole timeline. That was only like six generations or something. That's so cute man. Oh this is cool. Cool screen. And we're back to present day. Imbued in the rock. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought he said that later in the manga i wasn't expecting him to say it now but yeah he does say it now <laughs> yeah is such a good dad and he's not even it's like it's not even related to him <laughs> he's such a good dad Every an every other anime dad needs to take into to uh, to take a lesson from him. Yeah, offer a drink to Senku. The fuck. Get that child some glasses.
<laughs> oh, come on in, bro. Is this Rui and Senku? No. Feels my absolute feels. Oh, man. Did Shamelin can't even have any children? Oh, Shamil, man. Oh, is he sick too? Fuck. Pneumonia. Oh. God damn it. Oh, he's going to die from it too. They had two doctors, two well, two well trained doctors, and they couldn't do anything because they didn't have antibiotics. Oh, this sucks. Shamil looks only young as well. Yeah. Oh my god, if these guys didn't go into space, Ishigami Village wouldn't exist. Senko would be dead already. Absolute heroes. How long can the space station float up there in space? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. Oh, god damn. Are they still... Oh, they're still young as well. So unmanned, it probably... It's probably like a few years. Three years at minimum, obviously. Is it Connie's kids? Oh, they did actually have kids. That's fucking great. I'm glad. <laughs> You're learning your mother tongue too. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they're speaking Japanese, but they're speaking English in their world, is what I was trying to say. He knows English. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's Chrome. <laughs> oh. He didn't just influence 
Senku influence Chrome as well. They're on cliffs, though. They're on a cliff. Just legit, you won't find a single baron. Yeah. So smart, man. What is this for? <sighs> I'm gonna cry. I'm legit gonna cry. He only saw him like weeks ago, maybe. He's been in space for a while, but bruh. well, he's been awake the whole time. Everybody else slept, so it would only seem like a certain amount of time for them. But yeah, it's been that really has been 3,700 years for him. <sighs> it's okay to cry, thank you. I'm not doing great here either. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm not crying, my eyes are just sweating. Oh, all right, let's get to the end. There we go. Stone walls. Nice. So guys, that was episode 17 of Dr. Stone. Oh my God, that was such a good episode. Uh, what can I say? I'm getting to the point now in the episodes where I've actually I'm actually forgetting quite a bit well, until it happens. But when I see the preview now, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. Which is great. So I'm like forgetting what happens in the manga kind of. Um So, you know, it gives me it gives I'm already completely enjoying myself. It's my favourite anime of the season or last season, but um it just gives me a bit more enjoyment when watching the anime and it, like today's episode when we had like a special included which wasn't in the original manga but it was in the spin-off that was really surprising and it was like v it was awesome that they did that because up until today that scene didn't exist that um up until us up until about the point where it showed everybody it showed shamil and connie uh married and then uh the others dying of, of disease that was to the that was the point where we'd seen in the manga so yeah i'm happy about that um as i say really great episode i'm looking forward to next week's i'm not really sure what's gonna happen but that's the fun of it 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and i hope you enjoyed this reaction uh have a great day and peace out